very good afternoon to all of you now this video is not going to do or is not going to deal with valentine's day at all it was just an experiment from my side to see that if i post a masala dal thumbnail then does it get significantly more views or not so as a scientist i was just experimenting with the thumbnail so i am going to observe this video and see if it has significantly more amount of views than my usual videos and that will tell me the result of this particular experiment so yes uh, sorry to disappoint you but i am not going to talk about the valentine's day over here i am purely here to discuss the important or the expected topics for the iit jam 2021 examination all right so uh, i know for a fact that i delayed this video a lot uh, many of you were requesting uh, right from mid january and i am making it two days before the examination uh, but um, uh, i had some more important duties to attend to because of which i could not make this video sooner but anyhow for the last two days i do not recommend you you are preparing anything new on the 13th so you have today and i'm trying my best to upload this video by today afternoon that is on 12th of afternoon so that you have some time till evening to prepare these topics right so accordingly i have not discussed in detail all the topics because i don't want to make you nervous right before the examination that is the last thing that i would want to do in fact i would want to motivate you and help you out for the exam so please um don't think it's going to be a exhaustive video where i'm going to talk about all the important topics but yes some topics which i feel are important i would be discussing them with you now first we talk about the uncommon topics so if i talk about the uncommon topics uh, which sometimes students tend to miss out but might be asked in the examination so let's talk about those the first thing is kinetic theory of gases okay that is you should be uh, knowing the formulas for the average speed the most probable speed and the rms speed okay so that kind of questions do come in the examination and it will hardly take you about a couple of minutes to go through those formulas and their temperature dependence okay uh, and then uh, a lot of students tend, tend to skip out colligative properties so do not do that osmotic pressure um you know or uh, vapor pressure questions related to the colligative properties in general could possibly come in the examination then uh, one thing uh, i would want you guys to uh, look at the formula especially is surface tension and your uh, uh your uh, transport number okay have a look at the formula for surface tension and transport number okay these are important um topics and uh, in general if you have not prepared physical chemistry let's say uh i would personally suggest that you get some uh, notes from your um, you know colleagues or your friends or whomsoever um you can get notes from which are basically about the formulas the different formulas that are there in physical chemistry now at least if you know the formula or if you are able to memorize the formulas and go for the examination you can attempt the nat questions okay you cannot attempt mcq questions because they have negative marking but at least you will be able to attempt nat questions and most of the physical chemistry questions are the nat type questions so just have a look at all the possible formulas that you can before the examination that is from major topics in physical chemistry like kinetics thermodynamics equilibria and you know other miscellaneous topics solid state so on and so forth okay then beer lambert's law many students skip out you should practice a couple of numericals from real lambert's law and have a idea of the formula i can also um, suggest you that apart from a numerical type question it you could also be asked a multiple select question from your real lambert's law okay then we have the in spectroscopy is very important i hope most of you know that i will be discussing that in the common topics but in spectroscopy uh, one one topic that students tend to miss out is the uh, frequency of various electromagnetic radiations okay like what is the range of various electromagnetic radiations so you should be aware of the range of different electromagnetic radiations coming to bio organic chemistry uh, most of the students do struggle over here in order to um, you know find out that what are the most important topics because bio organic chemistry is quite vast so what i would recommend is that you should know basically the structure of all amino acids and of what are the characteristics like what are the basic amino acids what are the acidic amino acids uh, apart from that um, one should be aware of terpenes in general okay like a question can come they could give you a terpene and they could ask you how many isoprene units are there in a particular terpene or what kind of a terpene is it like classify the terpene whether it's a sesq terpene mono terpene di terpene like that uh, so terpenes uh, structure of amino acids isoelectronic point how to calculate isoelectronic point of a particular amino acid um, then how to you should have a brief idea okay don't go into the detail you you can uh, just see the method that is the sanger method and the edman method to detect the uh, basically the sequence of amino acids okay so one is called the sanger method and one is called edman method so just have a look at those two methods 
Now I have made a lot of videos on such on you know on some of these topics. So I'll give you the link down in the description box. Then uh, you should do all reactions of glucose. Okay, I have seen that in the examination they do ask a lot of questions related to glucose. So you should be aware of all the reactions of glucose. Okay, I think in Morrison and Boyd they have uh, given some reactions on how the scientists at that time when you know no spectroscopic techniques were available how did they elucidate the structure of a glucose so they had carried out a lot of reactions to elucidate the structure so you should be aware of all those reactions um, that were carried out okay apart from that um, you should be aware of the epimer okay what are the epimers of glucose um, and the last thing that you would want to focus on is benedict stallings and phalanx test and your DNA basis, the structure of the DNA basis, basic structure, you should be aware of the DNA basis. Uh, then a few more uncommon topics that I have not seen but I can expect is term symbols and spinals. Okay, I have not seen a lot of questions on term symbols and spinals in the jam examination for a long time. Uh, I strongly feel one question is going to come from your calculation of pH. But I would recommend practicing at least 4 or 5 numericals based on pH, how to calculate the pH of a particular um, mixture like if they are given we are adding one uh, two moles of this or 0 0.02 molarity solution like like this you know so molarities are given to you and then they ask you uh, what is going to be the ph uh, in 80 type question so please do practice these questions and the last thing that i would recommend from organic chemistry organic chemistry what i have seen um generally in the jam exam is that they are very common questions but one thing that i would recommend you is doing the first platinum rule i made a video on this it's a short video 15 20 minutes video so i'll give you the link somewhere over here you can go ahead and watch the first about the video about the first platinum rule okay it's something uh, it's something important that i feel um, could be asked from the examiners i was actually quite surprised that like, you know i think they switched or they interchanged the uh, jam 2020 and gate 2020 21 examination in fact i think the jam 2020 examination was more or less at the level of the gate exam and the gate 2021 exam was more or less of the level of jam exam coming to the common topics uh, now i have not discussed any uncommon topic from your um, inorganic chemistry because inorganic chemistry is very limited in the scope of questions they ask okay now i cannot suggest you anything for the main group chemistry as such uh, but uh, for uh, your coordination chemistry uh, crystal you must be knowing this that a lot of questions do come from crystal field stabilization energy but one thing that I would like to point out is uh, there's an NAT type question that usually comes from crystal field stabilization energy wherein uh, the value is given in centimeter inverse. Okay, the stabilization energy is given in centimeter inverse and they ask you the octahedral splitting of a particular complex um, in kilojoules per mole or they will ask you the wavelength of the transition in nanometer. So you should be aware of this conversion, how to convert centimeter inverse to kilojoule per mole or uh, you know to nanometer or whatever different units you can so please be aware of this conversion then a vesper theory is important these are the common topics that that i'm not talking about then we have 18 electron rule um we have electronic transitions okay that means i'm talking about your mlct lmcd dd transitions basically color in coordination compounds and uh, at last in organ organometallic chemistry apart from 18 electron rule you should definitely do metal carbonyl complexes okay so for that also i have made a um, i think i have made a good video for which you will find the link over here okay it's a good uh, video i've got good reviews so that's why i'm suggesting that uh, then we come to the uh, aromaticity again very important uh, atomic and molecular structure okay so basically in quantum mechanics um, in the gate 2021 examination also you would see a lot of questions came from this and in jam examination it is known it's a very common thing that questions do come from the atomic uh, and molecular structure uh, and like more questions do come from that and particularly the hydrogen atom like your Lyman, Balmer, Pastrin series, your Bohr, Bohr's model okay according to the Bohr's model what will be the energy of different systems then we have decay okay radioactive decay it the, the question could come from your kinetics um, it has to come no doubt about it I've seen that in every jam examination a question from radioactive decay okay uh, either it could be related to kinetics or it could be relate, related to alpha emission and beta emission okay alpha emission and beta emission is slightly less common but do questions definitely come from the kinetics of radioactive decay then we have Langer adsorption isotherm you should know the basic formula for Langer adsorption isotherm and apart from that you should also be knowing um, a bit about chemius option and physios option I, I expect a multiple select question from this topic like chemius option and physios option uh, then we have in thermodynamics um, if you have not prepared well or if you have prepared and you just want to revise focus more on the cycle on the Carnot cycle and efficiency 
I have not seen a, a long question from a long time. Uh, then mixing of various, um, you know, uh, mixing of various liquids or gases and then calculating their entropy. Uh, then reversible and irreversible process. Okay, all the thermodynamic parameters related to irreversible and reversible processes. Most of the questions come from this topic only. Then uh, if you are doing electrochemistry, you should be aware of Nernst equation. You should be aware of Latimer diagram. And you should be aware of how the E0 of a particular reaction um, is rel related to the thermodynamic parameters. Okay, So if, if you have the E0, how can you calculate the entropy of your electrochemical reaction? That is something basically relation of E0 to the thermodynamic parameters. Coming to your organic chemistry, in organic chemistry what I would suggest is um, you should be aware of all rearrangement based reactions, in particular Fogorsky, Beckman rearrangement and Wagner uh, Mirvan rearrangement. Okay? These three re rearrangements are very important. And whatever other set are given in the syllabus, like I think dienol phenol rearrangement is given, um, then um, pinacol pinoclone rearrangement, and whatever other reactions are given, like Darzen reaction is given, and I think, uh, yeah, so these are some of the reactions, then Wolf rearrangement, that I will come to later, that is basically a part of reactive intermediates. So basically, re rearrangement based reactions are very important. And how you can prepare these re uh, reactions, these rearrangement reactions, or how to identify which kind of rearrangement reaction is going to take place. You should be aware of the basic um, structure uh, which undergo these kind of reactions. For example, pinacol pinaclone rearrangement, 1,2 diols generally give this reaction. And then if I talk about Fevorsky rearrangement, alpha haloketones, okay, they kind of give this reaction. So you should have you should have a basic idea of what kind of structures lead to a particular rearrangement reaction so that in the examination it is easy for you to identify that reaction. Alright, uh, then coming to the reactive intermediates, very important, um, particularly reactions of carbenes, nitrines and benzene. Okay, and uh, I hope I am guessing you should be you are already aware of this. More important, it is to focus on how these reactive intermediates are formed in the reaction. Like, how does a carbene form? What are the various uh, methods by which a carbene can be generated, which is given uh, very well in Claydon. So, if you want, you can just have a look at the chapter on carbenes in Claydon. Over there, they have given the uh, how a carbene is formed. Okay, what are the different techniques or ways by which you can form a carbene? So, you should be aware of that. And then, of course, uh, NMR, you cannot uh, possibly leave that out. Uh, the physical chemistry aspect of NMR, where they can ask you an NAT type question. Um, the NAT type questions can be of two types generally. Either they will give you um, the, let's say, the G value and they will give you the, um, they will give you the frequency and they will ask you at what particular magnetic field will this particular, um, uh, you know, nucleus resonate or it could be opposite that your uh, magnetic field is given to you and the other data is given to you, the G value is given to you and they might ask you at what, what particular frequency that proton is going to resonate. So that is one kind of question. The second question could be on the um, on the J value, like the coupling constant. Okay, So what is the difference in the frequency um, if a particular, if there is a doublet, let's say at 2.1 ppm and 2.2 ppm for a 500 megahertz instrument. Okay, So those kind of questions can come. And uh, coming to the chemical shift value, that one organic kind of question wherein um, they might ask you to like compare the chemical shift values of basic of different molecules or they might ask you a structure elucidation based question where four structures are given to you and you need to identify the correct structure based on the spectroscopic data that is given to you. Then we have from pericyclic uh, focus more on the Claisen reaction. So I am sure that you might not have prepared sigma tropic really well. But even if you are not preparing sigma tropic, at least 3 3 sigma tropic reactions, that is the Cope rearrangement and the Claisen rearrangement, you should be aware of. Apart from that, deals are, deals are the reaction you need to focus on, particularly like uh, what kind of dienes, um, if you compare the rate of different dienes, that which diene will react faster and give the deals are the reaction faster. And the second thing is the endo rule. And at last, um, bio inorganic chemistry. So, in bio inorganic chemistry, you should be um, aware of different functions of various. Um, proteins okay what are enzymes of proteins are available um, specifically heme proteins at least for these proteins you should be aware of the important metal that is present and what is the uh, like what is the structure of the various uh, complexes okay or the metal complex that is present in what kind of geometry it is what is its function what is its oxidation state what is its color in the or in the oxygenated or deoxygenated form okay so these are things you should be aware of when we talk about heme proteins okay apart from that there are some other proteins as well like copper proteins zinc proteins and other iron proteins so for them you should be only aware of the function that what is the function of these particular um, 
enzymes or proteins okay i did not want to make you nervous so that is why i have not covered a hell lot of topics i have covered only those topics especially the uncommon ones common ones i am hoping that you have already done this and you just need to revise it so accordingly i have mentioned common topics when you talk, when i talk about uncommon topics i think these topics can be prepared um till uh, till tonight so that tomorrow you can revise whatever you have understood till date and also just have a look at the uncommon topics as well so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video and have a great valentines day jam session okay i am not talking about the jam session that you are thinking about i am talking about the examination so all the very best i hope you do really well and trust me the very small examination it does not have a high or a big impact on your career okay i mean yes it's an opportunity to get into an iit but it is not going to have a really huge impact on your career at all so don't stress too much okay and just give it with full confidence take care bye bye and see you in the next video i'm teaching live on the unacademy platform in the csr ugc net category where i'm taking both the free classes as well as the paid courses so if you want to get access to the free classes all you have to do is download the unacademy app and when joining the csr ugc net category you have to use the unlock code that is sethi this is absolutely free of cost and you will get access to all my classes while if you want to take the paid subscription or the plus subscription there is a subscription fee for that and if you want some discount on the subscription fee you can use the referral code sethi this will give you 10% discount on top of that you will also get access to the my whatsapp group where i frequently post a lot of updates related to exams and other things in addition with the plus subscription what all benefits you are going to get well you can watch all my sessions apart from that you can watch other sessions that are um, available from other educators in the csr ugc net category you will also get a uh, frequent mock test for the examination for your practice and some doubt solving sessions as well so if you're interested in joining the plus platform you can definitely check out the free classes first and then take a decision to take the plus classes do not forget to use these referral codes uh, this will give you a discount for the plus subscription and this code you have to use when you're joining the app to get access to all my free classes